Hey guys, what's up my awesome YouTube family? Um, I am a little bit unsure making this video because it's a little bit different, a little bit strange from, from videos I usually do, but it's one of those videos where I'm going through something and I'm pretty sure that in some way or form somebody else has already gone through it and maybe can offer some words of just support or just you know hey i've been there that kind of thing um it may sound once you find out about the reason I'm making this video you might think well, that's kind of dumb but that's okay um so there's a show that was on netflix i think it still is i think there's a few seasons of it still on netflix and they've taken the first season two off and they haven't added any new seasons in three or four years. I guess you can find them on YouTube and other platforms like that. But you really can't find the show on Netflix as far as any recent episodes in the past four years. Or three years, whatever. So, um, there's a show on Netflix called The Highway Through Hell. And it's in, uh, based in Canada. And it's about, um... Uh, tow truck recovery drivers and the jobs they do and and the interactions that they have and the things the problems that come up in their in their jobs how they handle it and um uh and I have loved loved the show for a long time watched it for a long time and I have a couple of uh, favorite people who are on the show <laughs> as most people do when they watch the show regularly you, you have your favorite people and one of them is named Ken his name is Ken Munkhouse. And I had made a post on the, I think it's the Highway Through Hell official page on Facebook, I think. I have to, I have to look it up and put it, you know, down below or something. But, um, but I had made a post in June of last year. Now, I'm going to read to you what I posted and what happened after that. Okay, I wrote, this is what I wrote on Facebook last June, June of 2019. This may sound too deep or even corny, but after watching five seasons of this show, Highway Through Hell, on Netflix, I just want to say how much I really appreciate the chance we all have had to get to know the Jamie, Jamie Davis heavy rescue drivers, flaggers, swampers, and mechanics who have been on the show. I've enjoyed watching Adam, Sammy, Kevin, Bruce, Howie, one of my personal favorites, Rob, John, Randy, and many others. No matter how long they were on the series for, it was amazing to watch each of them do what they love and shine so brightly when they were doing it. I know I've forgotten a bunch of people, and I'm sorry, my memory is terrible. But I really enjoy getting to know them and seeing them in their off time with their families and seeing them on the job, even when they're screaming at each other. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who's been on this show for making it so special. And a huge thank you to the people who edit, produce, direct, and air every episode. I appreciate each of you. Keep on trucking. That was my post on Facebook. Within, um, obviously within half an hour... Ken Monkhouse responded. He said, thank you for your kind words, Kimberly. I, 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 I saved our interaction here on my computer. He said, thank you for your kind words, Kimberly. They mean a lot. And I responded back to him and said, I'm totally fangirling that you responded to my posts. I want you to know that I appreciate all the work that you did for Jamie and how long you were on the show. I always enjoy watching you and I'm so happy that you interact so much in this awesome group. I meant every word I said in this post, and again, I'm thrilled beyond words that you took the time to read it and respond. Keep doing what you do, Ken, because we appreciate all your work and your efforts. Never lose your monkiness. I said it was his nickname. Was, what they call it. His, name is, his last name is Monkhouse. They call him Monkey. So I said, never lose your monkiness. And he responded again and said, very sweet and heartwarming. And I said, I'm just being honest and speaking from the heart. And I said, by the way, this may sound silly and a waste of time, but is there, is there a way I can send you a letter of appreciation and request your autograph at the same time? 
I'd love to have your autograph if you don't think it's cute and lessons of me to ask. And he said, Kim Monkhouse replied and said, your words are more than enough. Private message me your address and I will mail you one of my show posters and some show postcards. And I responded back to him, I just sent you a message with my address. Thank you so freaking much, you're the best. And that was the end of our interaction on the Facebook group. And he ne I never did receive anything from him. I knew he was busy and he wasn't in the best of health. I knew he was, ha I, knew from, I knew from watching the show that he'd been having some health problems and had to change his diet and change a lot of things he was doing. <coughs> so I never followed up with him or asked, hey, did you see those out yet? Or, hey, am I going to get those? I never even messaged him or asked him about it again at all. Because I knew if he had the time, <clears throat> if he had the time that he would, he would do so. And so, oh, when was it? It was Monday. Monday, May 25th, I found out through Facebook that Kim Monkhouse died. That he had a heart attack and died. Do not plan to get emotional this reading the video. Wow. You could tell when I'm watching the show that Ken seemed to have a really big heart. And he was always so appreciative of the support from the fans of the show. And um it just really knocked me over when he died. My heard that he passed away. Um, he had, he had left the Jamie Davis company several years back and was working with a different company. I think he was doing a different type of recovery work. I can't remember now what kind of, what it was, but he was doing a different, a different kind of recovery work. And, um, he wasn't working with Jamie Davis anymore. He hadn't been on the show in several years because he wasn't with that company anymore. And the show kind of centered around, kind of centered around the Jamie Davis company. Um, and so, you know, we had been trying to keep up with him on the Facebook page and he would, he would interact now and then once in a while, but his interactions were becoming more scarce and we really hadn't heard from him and didn't know how he was doing and just to hear that he died. For some reason, it just knocked me over. And I'm sitting here at my desk and I'm like sobbing. For a man I don't even know. I never met Ken. I never seen him in real life. I never, you know, but we had a very wonderful, positive interaction on Facebook. He said, was, he said my comments were very sweet and heartwarming that he was genuinely touched by what I said. And I, he did, he, I did private message him my address. He said, okay, I'll send them to you and I, I'll mail them out. I think he said, I'll mail them out next Tuesday. And that was in June of last year. But again, I know, I know that people in that line of work are busy and it's hard to have any time for themselves. And so I know that I wasn't going to ever ask him about it or follow up with him about it. Um, I never received any mail from him at all. Um. And I just want to ask, is there anybody else out there that has, that has grieved the loss of a person that you never even knew in real life? A person that you never even met before in real life? Someone that you just watched on a TV show and was just like, really just saw who they were and just really loved them for who they were and enjoyed seeing them. And then they are gone Suddenly, and again, I knew that Kim was, you know, Kim was, or he was getting older. I knew he had heart issues. I knew that he was not with the same media, but he wasn't with the show anymore. And he was still doing work, I guess. I, I'm assuming he was. Um, I'm going to put a couple pictures of Kim at, at the end of this video. Um, one is just Kim by himself in, in his old Jamie Davis uniform, but a smile on his face. The other one is him with his son, which I didn't even know he had a son. And apparently he was very happily married, had an incredible son, and this amazing life. And it just makes me so happy. But as anyone else watching this video, 
ever grieve the loss of a person who you never really knew. Never met in real life. Never really interacted with them in any kind of major way. Um, <laughs> never got to FaceTime with them or Skype with them or email back and forth. Someone you never really got to know. But yet, their death just knocked you over. I'm hoping there's someone out there that knows what that's like. And then we've all, we've, I think a lot of us have experienced that when it comes to characters on shows. We all fall in love with characters on shows. And I have shed major tears when a character is, you know, is, is either going like to kill off the show or whatever. I'm like, no! <laughs> you, you get so invested in these people and their lives and what they do. And um, I, I, I have stopped watching Highway Through Hell. A couple of years ago because they hadn't put any new seasons on Netflix at all. And pretty much right heard they weren't going to. They weren't going to. It wasn't that popular of a show. They weren't going to put any more seasons on. Then I heard, then I heard they, took, they took the first season or two off Netflix now. So you have like maybe three seasons on Netflix? I'll have to check and see. But, um, but I, I, I watch either Heavy, I watch either Highway Through Hell or my other favorite show is called Heavy Rescue 401. And it's got an amazing group of people on there too to do, uh, or in Canada to do towing and recovery work. And, um, I have several favorites on there. <laughs> I love, I, I love my heart. Love, I just love Colin Van de Heuvel. He's amazing. Colin is Gary's son. I really love, um, uh, Sonny, Sonny Subra, he's awesome, I have a few favorites on Heavy Rescue 401, that, that show is on Netflix as well, and they haven't added any new season to that show at all, I know the show is still being filmed and recorded, but they're not putting any new episodes up on Netflix, I'm like, what is it with these shows that I love, that they aren't putting any new, any new seasons up, I know the show is still being made, so, anyway, yes, my little soapbox, I'm going to get off it now, but if you've been through this before, where you have, where you have personally felt the loss of someone you never met in real life, someone you never really knew them outside of the TV show or movie or whatever they were in, comment below and tell me, and, um, I, I would ask you to send thoughts and prayers to, to the, to, uh, Ken's family, um, as they, and especially his son, as, as they mourn this loss, and, um, it's just, uh, for some reason, it's just, it's just staying with me. I just, not, not that I'm sad all the time, but every time I realize he's gone, I'm just like, <sighs> so, um, if you've experienced that before, comment below. I love you all with all my heart. Look at the pictures at the end of this video. Say a prayer for Ken's wife, for Ken's son, for his family, and say, Grieve this, this awful loss. He was an incredible guy, and our brief interaction on on the Facebook group meant the world to me. And I'm glad I saved it. Um, I saved it. In fact, I even asked him. <laughs> I said, I my my private message to him. I said, by the way, <laughs> is it okay if I show what you send me on my YouTube channel? I said, I, if you don't want me to do that, I won't do it. That's fine. But I would love to show people what, what you send me. He's like, I had no problem with that. Feel free to show your YouTube audience what you, what, what I've sent you. And my, oh, that's awesome. But again, I never, I never received anything from him. And that's fine. And like I said, I'm always busy. So, but yeah, one of my favorite people from Highway Through Hell, which is a show based in Canada on Netflix, is gone. And... I hope, I, I haven't watched any seasons of the show since the ones, except for the ones on Netflix. But I hope if the show is still being recorded and filmed, I hope that you would tribute to Ken. Because he was just, he was a big guy, he had a heart of gold, he was a soft heart, and, and very kind to everybody, and a hard worker. I've been talking on left. I'm going to go and go. I love you all so much. Have a blessed day and I'll see you in my next video.